Given that 3 tan 4x is equal to that, without using a calculator, show that this is the only solution. Okay, so they want us to solve. Um, so if we have 3 tan 4x equals negative 2 cos 4x. Well, we know that tan is sin over cos. So because we have a tan 4, we're going to go sin 4 over cos 4. Those angles must always match. Then on the other side, not much we can do there. Minus 2 cos 4x. I'm then going to multiply this over to the right hand side. So it will end up going to the top. So it's going to be multiplied by cos 4x. So what is cos 4x multiplied by another cos 4x? Well, that's just going to be cos squared 4x. Okay, I'll just keep it in brackets like that. Now, but from grade 11, we know that. And if we had to get cos by itself, you would get that. But if you have a cos 4, I mean a 4x, then you must just change the sin to a 4x. You're allowed to have any angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this part using this. Okay? Um, that 2, I'm just going to leave it. So we're going to end up with 3 sin 4x equals to minus 2, and then in brackets, and then we're going to replace that with 1 minus sin squared of 4x. Okay, now we're just going to simplify a little bit. This will become a plus 2 sin squared 4x. And now I'm just going to take everything to the right-hand side because I can see there's a trinomial that is developing. So you should see that as a trinomial. Um, if, if not, you could say let k equal to sin 4x. Then this would be k, and this part here would be k squared. So you would end up with 2k squared minus 3k minus 2. And so let's, you can use the quadratic formula. And if you use the quadratic formula, you should end up with k equals 2 or k equals negative a half or negative 0 0.5. But remember that k is actually that. So we're going to go sin 4x equals 2 or sin 4x equals negative 0 0.5. Now, they said show that only that is a valid solution. The reason is, is that in the next steps, if we had to go solve the general solution, which is what they want us to do in the next question, for this one, you would say shift sin of 2, and it would give you an error because um, sin graph does not go up to 2. It only goes up to 1 and minus 1. So this one would give you an error. And so this one, you can just say no solution but this one is perfectly valid, and that's what they wanted us to show. Now, moving on, it says, hence determine the general solution. Okay, so of this same equation. So we don't have to start here. We can actually just go from here. So we know that sin of, and go watch my general solution videos if you are not comfortable with general solution. I've got a whole load of those. And so the way that we would do this now is we would have to go get the reference angle, but don't use the negative on the calculator. So your reference angle is going to be, um, it's when you say shift sin of just 0 0.5, and that'll give you 30, okay? So now the negative tells us that we are going to work in the quadrants where sin is negative. Now we know that the cast diagram is like this. So sin is negative in the 180 plus x quadrant and 360 minus x quadrant. So we're going to go work in those two quadrants. So in quadrant number three, which is the this one, you're going to say this equals. Now you're going to say 180 plus. Now you're not going to say x. x actually means your reference angle. This is all just general solution. Plus k times 360. k is an element of z. If you use n instead, not a problem. Um, so 4x will equal to 210k element of z. And then 4x, if you divide everything by 4, you would end up with, um, what would that be? 52.5 plus k times 90k element z. And then in quadrant number 4, we're going to say um, 4x equals to 360 minus your reference angle, k element of z. 
and then that's going to end up being 4x equals to 330 plus k 360 k element of z then divide everything by um, 4 and so x would be 330 divided by 4 it's 82.5 plus k times 90 k element z and so there we have the answers